Good morning from a place called Terralinga. I've been calling it Terralinga since yesterday. Uh, basically, this is a um, ghost town, it, but people live here, so it's not too ghosty if people still live here. And we're just walking in the old cemetery here. And uh, this is a real, this whole area, by the way, used to be a mining village, mining town. Uh, there are some ruins, we'll call them ruins over there, that's, that's what they call them. Those are just some old stone houses from way back in the day. And I do believe that these are all real um, graves here. And uh, as you guys know, I don't really go inside cemeteries, but this is kind of a special uh, a special kind of place here. Nick is pointing out something. The nickname is Boo. Boo. This is where Boo is. I don't know if that's like a ghost reference. Um, but these ones over here are very, very old. This uh, mining town was abandoned and then a bunch of artists kind of recolonized it or uh, moved back here, I believe in the 60s. And uh, here we go. If this is a real grave here, died 1933. Some of these are very, very old and they just have some very old original wood. Um, Actually, I would say most of them have a bunch of old original wood. And I don't know much about graves, but I think this points due west. If anybody knows, feel free to comment. I haven't looked that up yet. And uh, I think it, they do go east-west. I don't even need to say this, but um, when you do come in here, uh, obviously be respectful of, of the things and don't take any of the old artifacts here. Um, it's just, you know, it's disrespectful and also it's, uh, this is a real cemetery here. And you're not supposed to uh, walk on top of a grave. So if you see something like this, you just kind of walk around it. There's a bit more information. Uh, Cemetery dates to the early 1900s. I think we saw one in 1902. There was a lot of mercury mining in town. Um, dangerous working t conditions. Gunfights. Influenza epidemic in 1918. And uh, some more information here on this side as well as the other side. So if you do come, feel free to uh, check the information out. Read about the old mines and stuff. And uh, check out some ruins and the town, which we're going to do. About a hundred yards up the road, we have these uh, nice historical ruins, as uh, the locals call them. And these are the existing uh, buildings out here from the old mining days. And uh, they are very, very interesting to see. I poked my head in yesterday, and this is all original stuff. So it hasn't been looted too much, uh, I don't think, because there's a lot of the existing stru structure still here. Uh, there's some of the wood with the pipes and everything and uh, some of the I'm guessing tin roof right here Here's the original entryway and You can totally tell this is original um, very old nail uh, Newer than Dan the adventure bus would because they have um, round nails and uh, you can see some of the old fixtures here the old hinges this was the window, I'm guessing. So let's see if this still opens. Wow, it still does. Whoops. Maybe shouldn't uh, play with that too much. Don't want to break it. Here's a very simple, original wall. This stuff looks like it could fall down on me any second. Um, although this steel pipe looks pretty sturdy. I don't think I'd want to be in here when it's uh, pretty windy. It uh, could be pretty hazardous. This looks like, uh, I forget the name of it, but uh, there's a wood, uh, there's a, a name for mixing the clay with hay. Um, a pretty traditional structure uh, type of building. And look at how thick these walls are. So even if it was really hot in the summer or really cold in the winter, a two foot wall probably would keep it insulated fairly well given the you know the time period that this thing was built over here we have another room this one has a, a skylight as you can see 
and uh, yeah, a bunch of original, you know, doors still left on there. That was probably part of the roof. I mean, who really knows? I'm, I'm just speculating at this point. An old can of some sort. You can see broken glass, more metal. This looks like some kind of fender right here. Really interesting stuff. But if you come, obviously, respect it and don't, uh, don't damage it intentionally. Although, the more foot traffic, the more the stuff can potentially be damaged. So, um, yeah, let's go have a peek. Looks like I see an outhouse over there. You can't get over there? Uh -uh. Why not? Oh. Where the mine's at, like, it goes back a little bit further, and then, like, there's a mine, and, like, you have to, like, go down and then go back up to get over there. Interesting. Here's another little spot. This one, a little bit, uh, worse condition. You can see the original wood here. That's a pretty new nail. And, uh, all the leftover roof, part of the walls. And, uh, yeah, this stuff is pretty fragile. Very, very interesting to walk amongst original buildings from the old mining days. Just makes me wonder who lived here, what they did, what their story was, where they came from, and uh, what life was like out here. Here's a little ravine area, another little structure right here. And across over there, some more ruins. Live the dream, be like a king, without a castle or queen. My proclamation across this great nation, be who you want to be. My royal decree, start living your dream. This one is very interesting. You can see uh, the different types of uh, materials used. I don't know if all the rocks fell off of this part and that was made out of stone. It looks like it's two different materials. This has a little, I guess I'm going to open the door and enter. This looks like it has two different types of uh, building here. The bottom being the stone, the top being this uh, mud part with the original wood uh, doorway that has some really old piece of metal holding a piece of wood that was clearly for the roof but yeah very very interesting so we parked our adventure vehicles down here in the parking lot there is a nice restroom right there really old car you can take a picture with right there coffee shop and an art uh, gallery on that side I highly recommend walking inside this place here, the Starlight Theater, and getting yourself a little knick-knack in the trading company over here. Uh, we are in the heart of the town, and it looks like there's an old mine shaft right over here. Yep, getting the thumbs up from Nick. You making friends? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Um, he doesn't have a name on here. Hi. But I'm gonna call him Poncho. Hey, Poncho. Hi. <laughs> oh, he's got a little thing on his head there. Hey buddy. A nice little friendly dog. Yeah. Looks like we have an original wagon from uh, who knows when. 18, 1900s. Um, and right over here is one of the mine shafts that you can look into. So, <clears throat> look at that. And this thing, is this the one that goes down 800 feet? I think this one's only like 80. 80? Okay. Oh, you dropped something down there? Yeah, you want a rock? Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> I forget the calculation. Claire might know. But if you, for every second of uh, free fall, is a certain amount of distance here. 
time it. Yeah. So we're gonna get the timer out. Yeah, you don't want to drop your phone down there. No, that would be bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, about three and a half seconds. I don't know if I heard. I don't know. It heard like two little things. I think it might go further down, but maybe it hits like the wall or something. Because I really didn't hear like a psh kind That's of. It's a little rock. True. That's a long ways down. You're That's gonna, true. That is true. You feel the heat coming up from it? Uh, actually, yeah. There's, it's like hot, hot air. Yeah, yeah. If you stand, oh, it's, uh, it's weird. If you stand like right on it, you put your hand like this, you can feel the heat. Yeah, it was three and a half seconds. So it looks like this is the original mine cart, I guess you would call it. It's got uh, an attachment on top for the cables. But this is how it looks like four people or two people and some equipment would get down to the bottom here. Pretty interesting. Oh, by the way, there is some kind of like a walking tour thing and there's like, I don't know, 70 different things. We're not going to hit all 70 because that could take all day. But it is a really cool spot if you see a couple uh, things you want to, you know, take a peek at, that which uh, pique your interest. Maybe like a mine shaft and um, you can find them on the map and... Um, you know, do a little exploring out here. The life's what you make it, the cake's how you bake it. So go on and take a big piece. There's nothing so sweet as the drink. Little mouth with So I was talking with these fine gentlemen uh, just a moment ago. Uh, would you tell me your names? Jeff Hayslip. All right, and Neil Trammell. And you guys are uh, local residents. Neighbors. Yeah. Neighbors. There you go. You guys play over at the uh, at the the places in town and things the, like that. The venues. Yes. Yeah. We're all right. Pass here tonight. Very cool. And you have a uh, a local um, album for sale down at the uh, High Sierra. Down, well, not High Sierra. The straight the gas station has it. I think it's here in the in the general store. Yeah. I, I hadn't checked lately. I don't know if they're out of stock or if they even remember who I am. At the jukebox. He sits quietly at the bar, waiting for her fallen quarters to hit the bottom of her honky tonk heart. He's been thinking, we both been drinking, maybe tonight is the night he's been waiting for. But what he's missing, she don't need no kissing. Just a man who can lead her across. The Further up the road, we have uh, this town called Lajitas. And uh, right now, we are driving uh, west and a little bit north along the Rio Grande. And you know what's on side of the uh, other side of the Rio Grande? Mexico! We are a stone's throw away from Mexico. Actually, let's get the baseball chick to throw a stone to Mexico. Just to let just to show everybody it really is a stone's throw. I've been what? We'll see. I don't wanna You wanna get down? Alright. There we go. Well, dropping her apple. I don't want to throw my rings off. Alright. Really in Mexico? Yeah.
Well, that's across the border. <laughs> High five for that one. Here, let me give it a good, a good toss here. All right, got this little one. Did you we make it all so the way? <laughs> away from Mexico. <laughs> Sorry if I hit anybody over there. So I know that the uh, border wall is something that people are talking about these days. I just want to know, how would you put a wall in between, like, the river? And I'm not saying I'm for or against it, but it, this is just a question. Like, how would you do that? That, that looks difficult. From now until closing time once more. She looks nice. We got one of the uh, steepest inclines I've uh, ever taken in Dandy Adventure Bus, especially on uh, like a highway. Uh, it might be kind of hard to tell, but uh, I'll, I'll point it sideways and make it level. That's about level. So we decided to stop at uh, El Cosmico here in Marfa, uh, where you can rent <laughs> interesting little uh, things like this, and then some teepees, and then the main attraction are these vintage campers on the property as well. And apparently you can do some tent camping here uh, too. So, we did a kind of quick uh, tour through uh, Marfa. It was, today is uh, two days before Christmas. Uh, so the town was a little on the quiet side. It's also a Saturday. It's also a little bit on the kind of touristy side for people coming in. And the cops were in full force pulling everybody over. Just uh, definitely not in the Christmas spirit, <laughs> but uh, uh, this is the uh, Marfa Lights uh, viewing uh, place. Uh, we will take a look at that once the sun goes down. Um, but I think this is going to be tonight's home. There are a couple, you know, there's us over there and then a little RV kind of set up. But it looks like uh, overnight parking is A-OK -okay here. Trash cans right there. Also trash cans on the highway. Also, the fact that we're in the middle of nowhere um, makes me believe that yeah, it should be, should be alright. If not, we get a knock on the uh, door from another friendly sheriff or border patrol agent. So here is the uh, Marfa Lights uh, viewing uh, building. They have complimentary, complimentary, never seen that before, um, binoculars. And the lights happen out here. I will let you guys wait to see them first. Well, I'll try and capture them before I tell you exactly where they come from. Um, yeah, but a pretty nice spot, and I think tonight's gonna be a pretty epic sunset, so pretty excited about that. Box. She looks long. 